So this is our simulation so far and I know from previous experiments that I want this whole blast to have a radius of around maybe 20 meters. So after about one second or one and a half seconds we need these particles to reach somewhere around this area over here so around the 20, met, uh, around the 20 unit uh, mark. So we need these to be a lot faster and let's go inside this PubNet and let's go to our source and to for attributes let's set the inherent velocity to maybe a value of 25. Okay so now if I preview this this should be much faster and let's go back up and reset the simulation so now as I preview this now it's a lot faster. I also maybe want to slow these particles a little bit over time just to simulate a more natural feel and we can go inside the, this uh, PubNet and just uh, add a drag force. So I will add a pop drag and a value of 0.1 should be fine. So now they will slowly decrease their speed over time. So after around 60 frames we end up at around our 20 meter mark. I also want to completely stop these particles after a certain time uh, after they are born. So we can give these particles an age and let's go to the birth tab and I will set the life expectancy maybe to 1.5 with a life variance of uh, 0 0.3. So now as I play this simulation we should see our particles disappearing when they reach their full life. But instead of removing the points when they reach their maximum age we want to stop them instead. So what I can do is I can go to my pop solver and there's an option here under under the update tab which is called reap particles so if you read this says that all particles with the dead attribute set to one will be deleted so this basically means that when they reach their full age they will just uh, get removed from the system and if i turn this off we can now see that as i play this animation they will no longer disappear after they reach their uh, life value so what i can do here is i can drop down a pop wrangle and in here i can say that if and in parentheses i'll type if age is greater than or equal to life then I will set the velocity to be zero. So essentially this means that as a particle is born and uh, it ages so its age value increases when uh, the age is equal to or greater than the life value this will now stop entirely. So basically instead of deleting our points when they reach their life target uh, they will instead be slowed down completely so they will be frozen. And as I preview this, we can see now that we maintain our particles, so they are still alive, uh, only that they are frozen when they reach their life. So this will become important down the line, as we will need these particles to still exist in the scenes in order to transfer certain attributes from them, or uh, do other things which we will uh, talk about when we get there. Alright, so this will be good for now for our particles, and let's talk in the next lesson about how we can optimize the terrain.